in the industry, um, they call people like me a uh, social media influencer, which I'm not really an influencer. I don't like that word, you know what I'm saying? I'm an entertainer. Remember that. My family and I came to the UK as refugees from the Democratic Republic of Congo. While we were seeking asylum, we lived in a hotel in London for about a year. Until one day our names were on the list, telling us we'd be sent to Glasgow. I lied in my school that I didn't speak English just because I wanted to be closer to people who were kind of the same color as me. So I'm just walking around the school and I saw a group of guys, just a group of girls just chilling there. I went up and I said, uh, like, hello. And I remember this girl. I really, I really remember her name as well. She came out with the crowd and then took the biggest snort, like proper from the back of the throat and just spat it on my face. I was like, oh, I, I, I didn't even want to answer it. All I did was wipe it off. Because she smoked, you can smell it as well. I took it off and then I just swiped it off and I was like, oh, is this how you get treated when you're, you're here in Scotland? Because when I was in London, I never experienced that. So my first racist encounter was that day. And after the spat, she just repeated, get back to your country, you black bastard. And I was like, oh, okay, I didn't know what that meant. So I kept that in my head. I kept repeating it the whole day. And then school went on. I never told anybody about it. I, was, I wasn't really upset the whole day, but I just kept that word in my head. Those two words were just in my head. Because I wanted to know what it was. So after school was finished, I picked up my brother, we went home. And I kept saying it. I kept saying it. Black boss, I kept saying it. And mom knocked me in the head. Why are you saying that? I was like, I don't know. Some kid called me that in school. And she was, do you know what it means? I was like, no. And then she explained to me what it meant, and I was like, ah. Oh. That, that sucks. To be honest, like, every time someone called me that when I was in school, it just brings your, your hype or your confidence. It brings you from 100 to like zero. Because they're just, they're just degrading you, to be honest. I said to myself, you know what? I make jokes, you know what I mean? I can, I, I, I make people laugh at home. I make my, my other friends laugh. Let me start just being that joker. If someone was about to even fight me or swear at me, they'd be like, oh, I can't fight this guy, he's funny. So that's what I thought. And that's, I think that's how my, my comedy side came, you know what I mean? Just, just to, to fight racism, I used comedy. Online hate gets through here and it stays. I'll get to a point where I won't want to post because I don't want to, I don't want people to say mean things about me. So I'll post something and I'll wait and I'll wait and I'll wait. And then as soon as I see 10, five comments that say, you're not funny, you're not funny, you're fat, you're, 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 you're black this, you're black that. Oh, he looks like this guy. And then like, they'll make memes and all that. I'll delete the video. I'll delete it. I'll delete the video because I can't bear the comments. I'll just stop it. And then I, I won't post for like a, one week or two weeks because I just can't be asked with all the, the hate that I get. And then it, it kind of made me really depressed. When I got diagnosed with PTSD, I didn't know that I had it. I just thought me taking panic attacks and me being stressed was just a normal thing when you either miss someone or you hear some shocking news. I thought it was, that was just it. But it got worse when I got to the point where I couldn't breathe at times. I'll faint because I'm hyperventilating and having all these choking sensations in my body. And I remember when I went to the GP, she she asked me all these questions and then she came up with this paper. And the paper said that I suffer from PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder. But I always tell myself, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. All I can say to people that are that I go through the same thing, that like get all these suicidal thoughts, that, that take drugs because they feel like it will help. It's not the way. It's not the way to go on about it. The only way you can go on about it is, it's just by being you and try and stay positive. Like life is tough, it's hard of course, but what gets me going every day is that I'm alive, I'm breathing, no illness, no broken bones. My whole family's here. And then my daughter is, is, 
is just taken care of and she's grown up and she's amazing that's what keeps me going every day